Of all modern advancement in medical science, the ability to edit our genome is overwhelming, but beyond the benefits that are hidden risks that Israeli researchers are now exposing. Joining me is President of the Israeli Society for Gene and Cell Therapy and Senior Lecturer at Tel Aviv University, Dr. Adi Barzel. Hello, Adi. Hi, good afternoon. So, can you please tell me, first of all, what is CRISPR? So, in nature, CRISPR is a system that helps bacteria to fight the viruses that attack them. However, in the recent 10 years, we've learned, as a scientific community, to use CRISPR also for biotechnology in uh, utilities such as crop improvement and up to uh, medicine. In particular, in the medical arena, we use CRISPR to cleave the human genome. And using that cleavage, we can either disrupt genes that we don't want to be active, or insert genes that we want to have in our genome, or sometimes repair genes that are mutated. Which is mind-blowing in any aspect that you look at it, right? It is mind-blowing. The technologies that we now have in our possession were a far dream just uh, 15 years ago. Wow. So w what is the pr potential problems of, of using it or uh, maybe over-abusing uh, this, uh, this thing? So we at the scientific and medical community have been aware of several challenges with the use of CRISPR. However, in our recent publication, we find a new and alarming problem that was uh, not previously known. So previously we thought that after CRISPR cleavage, the genome is repaired, either in an error-free way or in an error-prone way that introduces insertions and deletions. But what we now find is that sometimes after CRISPR cleavage, the genome is not repaired at all. And the molecules that make up our genome, the chromosomes, are then broken and some chromosomal arms, perhaps even entire chromosomes, are lost. This type of genomic instability is associated with cancer. Mm -hmm. This raises the risk that perhaps, when using CRISPR, we are sometimes introducing a risk for cancer. Wow, and that is uh, pretty concerning. So can you draw, Dr. Barzel, the limits of, of using CRISPR? So what we discuss is first-generation CRISPR, which cleaves the genome in both its strands. Our DNA is composed of two strands, and first-generation CRISPR would cleave both of them. In some application, we can use second-generation CRISPR, like base editors and prime editors, that only cleave one strand, and therefore are associated, associated perhaps with less risk. When we nevertheless do have to cleave both the strands, we must find ways to monitor the risk and mitigate it in other means. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we can sort enrich for cells that were successfully engineered to find what we have introduced and therefore uh, limit the extent of the aneuploidy, the loss of chromosomes. Wow, I I'm interested in asking you, how did you discover the, those risks? How did you um, reveal all of this? So for that, we had to use uh, state-of-the-art technologies. We now have technologies that allow us to monitor the expression of genes in a cell-by-cell -cell manner, so single-cell RNA sequencing. Using these methods, we could find a population of cells that are lacking the expression of genes from the cleaved chromosomes. So chromosomes that have been cleaved by CRISPR no longer express the genes to the same extent as before, which for us was a strong clue that these chromosomes or copies of these chromosomes have been lost. So is there a way to address those risks? Several ways. One is by using uh, second-generation CRISPR cleaving only one of the strands, and then perhaps finding markers on the surface of the cells that would tell us that this and that cell have the problem and therefore have to be sorted out, taken out of the pool. Having said that, there will be applications where all these mitigation approaches will not suffice, and we will have to weigh the still existing risk against the potential benefit for the patient. Do you think that in 50, 100 years, people would be able to design their kids, their, their children? There's an ethical question here, not only a scientific question. Yeah, Whether obviously. it is possible, it is possible today. So, it, wow. as we know, a, scientific, uh, a Chinese scientist some, I don't know, three years ago, 
has already uh, done so for some limited extent. And the but as you said, there is an ethical so, problems with it. I agree. I would certainly advise against it. But whether it is possible, it is possible, yes. Wow, interesting, interesting questions. Uh, Dr. Adi Barzel, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much. Hi, everyone. It's Emmanuel Kadosh. I wanted to invite you all to subscribe to ILTV+, Plus, where you can find our daily news and updates about Israel. And not only that, but live feeds, entertainment, our kosher food show, and so much more. Needless to say, your subscription to ILTV+, Plus helps us grow and create more content while also supporting the state of Israel. Our app is available on all platforms and devices, so I'll see you guys there.